Ben Horner for Norwich Boxing here with Tom Not So Little. Um, how are we getting on, Tom? Good, thanks. Good. Just easing my way back in, but feeling sharp, feeling good. I'm going to go back to uh, not where it started for yourself, but um, unfortunately, sort of two losses. But prize fighter, what an experience, you know, to to be able to get on to prize fighters. Yeah, it, it's good in itself. How, how did you feel the experience went? Very bad. <laughs> very bad the first time round just never had no one round me uh, I'm not making excuses because the video footage stands for itself I stood Tom Dallas on his head until I tra- fitness beat me he didn't and that b- big ginger stiff idiot knows he didn't beat me but um, that's why he won't come within arm's reach of me because I have said I will smack him in the mouth <laughs> for not giving me a rematch but um, yeah it's just not, not good obviously then you sort of had some time out um, went back to prize fighter again. Yeah. Um, second time round, like obviously again, it didn't go quite to plan, but um, oh. things have changed since then. Oh yeah, but to be fair, I was fighting a very seasoned man. The fight before that, Minto had fought for a world title, and let's have it right, he was a different Minto than what come over here on short notice for Dylan. Yeah. Not taking anything away, get Dylan. Dylan's my pal, but he was a very l- let's not judge Minto in the fight against Dylan, against the, he was a lot different man. And um, yeah, listen, for me in my fourth fight to go and get a split decision, I thought I'd done enough to edge, it, edge him out, but I couldn't complain. I thought it was a bit of a statement. Uh, to I, I showed a lot in myself that night. And I got hurt there, but I, I come back and I still stuck to my guns and I, I believe I'd done enough to edge it, but one of them things, I suppose. You say he fought for a world title. Um, that's got to put you instead to sort of be fighting for titles, maybe English, British, anything, but nothing ever come. Why do you think that was? Listen, I'm just that bogey man, aren't I? Just on me day, I'm capable of beating anyone. And if people get beat by me, like some of the bigger names, I can understand why they don't take the fights because I'll, I'll scream to fight anyone. I'll, I will fight anyone. But I can understand from their point of view, if they lose to me, then where does it leave them? Do you know what I mean? And on me day, I'm going to take some beating. Do you know what I mean? So it's it's, one, it's an awkward one, but there's some things getting spoke about, and I've got the man behind me to, to make a good fight. So if it's going to happen, it will happen this year. I witnessed you fight Larry Holubamuo at York Hall. Um, it was been in with some big names. Went in with yourself, and you sort of dismounted them fairly easily. Yeah. Um, where do you feel... What, 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 why do you feel that was and where were you in your head at that point well listen I've got a bit of a vendetta against Gary Cornish and I knew he told Gary about for 8 rounds hit Gary on the chin hurt him I never had no qualms about or had no dispute in my own head that Gary Cornish is a big shit bag right but I wanted everyone else to see what shit bag he was when little old me comes out I knew I listen I knew Larry was not going into the third round. I knew for 100% fact he wasn't. I get on well with Larry. Me and him, are, you've seen me and him in interviews. Me and him are friends. But listen, I knew he was not there and he was not going to be there come the end bell. But um, that was all I wanted to do. I, w- I never had nake against Larry. I just wanted to prove that the people that he had told about for eight or six rounds or whatever not, I wanted to prove that he weren't going nowhere with me. Top of the British division, uh, Anthony Joshua. Um, where do you see him going? Um, like, what did you make of his performance against Dylan White? He got showed up. Hey, listen, a lot got showed about him there, and I've said for a long time, you take him, you take gas bottle legs, past four rounds, he will stiffen up, and he will not be the same man. The only thing that Dylan done wrong, and I'm not criticising him because, listen, he, pre- he, he showed him up. Josh can't hold a body shot, cannot hold a body shot, he, he ain't with that, but he went too competitive too early, and then like you get caught, and when you get caught even on the arms, that it takes a bit out of you, and he got, he blowed out a little bit, you know what I mean, and the push, punch was, it. it was a tactical, a little bit of a tactical, but I'm under understanding that Dylan hurt his shoulder, when he, Dylan caught him with the early with the, with the hook, but listen, Mervyn got that right, he is open for an hook. He is open for a nook, but yeah, I don't like him.
Um, so if the opportunity come up, 2016, you know, you say two more fights down the road, um, would you take the Anthony Joshua fight? I'll tell you what I'd do, right? If he wants to hang a belt and just let me sort out what I've got to sort out now, in the summer, right, we're both Hertfordshire boys, I will fight him in Watford Football Stadium, I will fight him in Watford, in his own town, I will pull his trousers down and I will beat him all round Watford, if he wants, but... Listen, I have screamed, I have begged, I have pleaded for the fight. When he was a two-fight novice, I asked for the fight. I asked for the fight for peanuts, for peanuts, just to show him up, because I knew I'd get a big fight out or a good deal. But they do not want to know. And that is genuinely the truth, they don't want to know. Going away from yourself a little bit, Billy Joe Saunders, now world champion. Um, well done. GGG, fight keeps getting spoke about. Where do, you, where do you think Billy sort of stands... In the in the standing with that, do you think that will come off? If they offer Billy enough money, if they offer him enough money, he he will take it. And let me tell you something. Knowing him from being a child, he's not the boy you would ever bet against. Never bet against him, because he's just listen. I do generally believe if you shot that boy in the face, he'd still live and come out on top. You know what I mean? But it's an hard fight. It's an hard ask. But I genuinely think he's he can cause him a lot of problems he showed a different side to himself and uh, every time he's against it he will come with that little bit extra so listen I I'd like to see him fight him I would like to see him fight him but not just for any other reasons uh, just think of the cash the boy gets for fighting him you know what I mean maybe 2016 is going to be a year that, that that them sort of fights can start rolling for you maybe obviously not sort of on the world stage but the British stage Anthony Joshua um, where would you like to see yourself at the end of 2016 well, listen, I've promised my fans New Year's night. I've promised, well, the little few fans that I have got, I've promised them by the end of 2016 I will be British and Commonwealth champion.